guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, In The Makeup Chair, Justine McKell from McKell Media. Today we're going to talk about powerhouse success business career woman, how we're going to do a 10 minute makeover, because you're time poor. Yes. Okay. Very much so. So she's stunning without any makeup, but we're just going to add a little bit to throw on with your kind of look. What's the look that we, we want to achieve today? Um, I really like the look of Joni Mears, it's like effortless. Um, she looks like she hasn't spent much time to get ready, but she's always very polished. Um, anything that hides the bags, anything that can maybe accentuate the eyes, I yeah, would be very grateful. <laughs> and you want to be able to do it for yourself? Yeah, absolutely. So what's your routine when you get up in the morning? I get up at five, make a big black coffee, and then I normally start my emails. I go to yoga, I'll come back and have a quick shower, and then off I go. So my hair's always up in a bun, and I'll just quickly put some foundation on and um, eyeliner just on the top, and I don't even know if that's kosher or what you're meant to do, and then a bit of... Um, Mascara. Cool. And what eyeliner? What kind of eyeliner do you use? Um, just black. Yeah. Pencil. Pencil. Or? Pencil. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. Pencils are great, but if you do them a fast and b, yeah. they don't wear very well if you've got them on all day. And I know that you go out a lot from work to events at night. Yes. And sometimes it can get a bit smudgy, and it can actually make your eyes look a bit tired. Yes. And I also have really dry eyes. I had eye laser surgery about five years ago, and a symptom from it is dry eyes. So I notice yeah. sometimes that I'm always putting eye drops in, and then I'll the eyeliner will smudge down there and I'll get panned eyes so yeah. okay so we're going to do a clean eyeliner on the top give you lots of bronze okay um just for that kind of like you said with Jodie Mears it's just that relaxed natural look mm. but she still looks polished yeah so you need that warmth yes. so we don't have to do too much else with your makeup okay a nice kind of bronzy gloss yeah, I think something good. that you can just have a gloss in your bag and put it on during the day okay. not too much with the lipstick because I've noticed with Jodie that she has a fairly she likes the bronzes and the browns yeah. and the glosses and they look quite natural yeah so we're going to do clean probably a gel eyeline on top okay and um and and keep it nice and simple for you i've never heard of a gel eyeline but it sounds good great let's gel <laughs> eyeline away let's get going applying a liquid foundation to the face neck and decolletage area according to your neckline of your outfit in a light liquid foundation with some illuminator mixed in and blending it away with a blending brush as well as a foam sponge Applying a base colour with a little bit of gold in it works beautifully with Justine's complexion. Take a smaller brush to apply another layer of the base colour to the lash line and blend well where the skin tends to pucker so there's no areas of the skin showing. I've taken a taupe colour to apply to the crease line with my 217 brush which is my great blending brush for this. And this is also a colour that's going to help with that bronze look that we're going for for Justine. Blend well and sweep down across the lid. Adding a neutral powder over the top to blend all of the eyeshadow together and give it a more subtle effect. Once again, applying the sunset colour that I'm, I, I'm so fond of with another 217 brush, just to soften the line of the crease and also a little down onto the lid to warm the eye up. I'm applying a teal green cream eyeshadow to the lash line and extending that up on the outer part of the eye towards the crease. This colour works really well for Justine, it really brings her eyes out. Yeah. 
I'm applying a gold liquid eyeliner to the lash line to really bring the colour of Justine's eyes out. And a liquid eyeliner with a fine tip pen to create a sharp, clean, fine eyeliner on the upper eye. Be mindful to use the lash line as your guideline to keep the line clean and sharp. So I'm using a volumizing mascara with a comb that can comb the eyelashes into place and stand them up. And the tip of the mascara wand can stand the outer lashes up. And an angle brush with an eyeshadow for a soft line under the eyes. Blend the line to soften it with a cotton bud. Adding the final layer of liquid foundation under the eyes after the eye makeup is complete for a nice clean look under the eye area. Conceal only where the darkness of the dark circle under the eye is. Do not extend it over to the eye bag as it will accentuate it even more. Blend gently in a patting motion, being careful to avoid the eye bag area. Also add a little concealer to the outer eyes to brighten them up. Translucent powder with a large powder brush to set the makeup. Apply the bronzer across the hairline on the forehead, down over the temples and under the cheek area and jawline area for a little shading and warmth. little bronzer over the eyeshadow just to warm up the eyes. Apply a neutral pencil colour over the entire lip line and lip area. and a similar shade with an added gloss to it over the top. I've just put a little bit of hairspray on the brow brush and taken them through Justine's brows for a very natural look. Okay guys, Jodie Mears makeover, look alike. <laughs> Thank you, you've done such a great job. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. Love the eyes, love the natural look. And thanks for getting me in the paper twice this week. Way to go, let's go out and celebrate. Perfect, I'll see you Jonathan. for a glass of bubbles.